Welcome to labmiss.com. In this video, we'll look at how to configure wireless 802.1x with eTLS on Cisco ICE. We'll move through the configuration fairly quickly in this video since it's very similar to PEEP in the previous video. And for any details on user or computer certificates and templates, please refer back to our previous video, SEC0045 on wired 802.1x with eTLS. Now let's take a look at our lab setup. So here we have ICE running version 112 at the IP of .102, domain controller and certificate server at .40, a wireless LAN controller at .104, and here we have two users. One is admin1, which is part of a wireless user group that will have access to wireless or can, or can connect to the wireless network, while employee1, which is not a part of that same group, would not have access to wireless network. We have domain computer again with both user and computer certificate pre-install and we're trying to authenticate using eTLS. And at the end of the video we're trying to also use our iPhone to authenticate by using PEEP and we see that it will fail. Okay so the first thing I want to show you is the user configure an AD. So right here we have a our Active Directory user computer. Here is the admin one, employee one, and also our wireless user group. Under the members we, we can see that admin one is the only admin one is the member of the group. So going to ICE, we can start on our a configuration of a policy authentication. Okay, so policy authentication, here we already have the wired.1x configured, so now we're going to configure one for wireless. So we're going to duplicate below. We're going to change the name from wired to wlan.1x. Okay, so instead of wired 802.1x condition, it was pre-configured, we're going to switch that to wireless 802.1x. And again, these conditions came by default with ICE. Okay, we're going to continue allowing both PEEP and TLS for the protocol. And we just want to uh, use the same identity source sequence, which is certificate AD local, just like the wired. Okay, so pretty straightforward for the authentication policy. Okay, now for the authorization policy, we're going to first look at the condition, so policy, policy element, condition. We're just going to reuse what we have configured for PEEP with a slight adjustment. So first we start off with the debut LAN, let's see, authorization compound condition. And this is what we have configured for PEEP, so debut LAN machine, this is for the machine authentication. And we're just going to keep everything pretty much the same. Here's the two greatest attributes that identify it as uh, being a wireless authentication request. For the user group, we're going to allow all the domain computers to connect. And we're going to add one more condition just to make sure the authentication protocol being used is EPTLS and not EAP or other type of protocol. So save. Next for the WLAN user, then keep pretty much the same. Here's the two radius attribute and then we are only go going to allow wireless user or user this a part of wireless user group and instead of using was machine authenticated we again gonna enforce the protocol or EAP authentication to EAP TLS. So if this was a configuration for wired.1x, then we will go on to the downloadable ACL. But since wireless ACL enforcement does not use the downloadable ACL, but it's actually used name ACL, and the name ACL basically have to match to what you have configured on the wireless LAN controller. So the ACL itself is configured on the wireless LAN controller. So here I'm locking into the wireless LAN controller, going to security, access control list, and we already have LM AD login. If you go under there, we are allowing DSCP, DNS, all IP traffic going to the domain controller 32.40, any return traffic back to the client, and everything else will be denied. So this will be used once the machine authentication has passed. So go back, we also have LM permit all that we will be using, and that's just permit IP any any. Okay, so those are the ACLs that we will use. And if you go to authorization policy element results, 
and under authorization profile we also going to reuse what peep already we have already configured for peep and one is lmwlan ad lock-in and here you can see the DACL name that we would have used for wired type authentication is not checked but instead if you scroll all the way down there's an airspace acl name so you can see it says a name here so that name right here has to match uh, what, whatever you configure on the wireless LAN controller. Okay, also for the permit all, scroll down, we have a LM permit all, just like we do have on the controller. Okay, now that we have both conditions and results, we can complete our authorization policy. So here we go new, below. We we'll call it LM WLAN machine. And for condition, we're going to select from the library. And our condition has the exact same name, which is LM WLAN machine. And here you can see all the details of the conditions underneath. And we are going to permit the AD lock-in, the WLAN AD lock-in. So that's done. Then we're going to duplicate below. So this time it's going to be for user authentication. And instead of the BLAN machine, it's going to be the BLAN user. And we are permitting the BLAN permit all. Okay, just have to make sure you select the correct type with the name ACL and not downloadable ACL. Okay, with those configures, we can go to our domain computer and start testing. So here I have the wireless adapter disabled. So I can go ahead and enable that. While it's doing that, let me go to operation authentication. So we can monitor the activity. Looks like we have a quick authentication fail. So let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, it looks like we are locked in as employee one. So I guess there you go. Uh, we already fail employee one. So let's do lock off. And then there you go. Yeah, previously it was already on employee one, but this time let's try admin one. By this point, if you go and look at the authentication results, we already have a successful machine authentication with the authorization profile deploy of the BLAN AD lock-in. Okay, so at this point, if you go to the wise LAN controller and go monitor and client and click on the client, here you see all the details for us, the MAC address, the client, IP address, the client, the SSID, the client is currently associated uh, to, and if you scroll down, VLAN interface and the current username that's being used, and that is the machine name since we haven't really locked in to the machine yet. With the EAP type EAP TLS and the access list name is the one for AD lock-in. So now let's go ahead and lock in as admin one. Okay, now go back to the monitor page, refresh, and we have admin one came through successfully. And now the authorization profile has switched to the BLAN permit all. And again, if you go back to the wise LAN controller, this time everything stays pretty much the same, but the username that has now become admin one because we just did the user authentication. And the access list name now become permit all instead of AD lock-in. Okay, so if you go to the client, the client should now have full internet access. You go to website. There you go, all have access to internet. And I guess since we were already locked in previously as employee one, and you can see it's already failed, but let's try that one more time. So lock off. Okay, then we're gonna lock back in again with the employee one. Refresh. Machine authentication is already done. 
but the user authentication failed because employee one is not part of the wireless user group, although it's past the authentication, it failed authorization as specified here as the rejected per authorization profile. So now let's look at the author authentication detail on each one of these. So machine, admin one, and then employee one. Okay, so for the machine, right here, machine name, the, the uh, Win 7 test one, authentication type eptls. Username came from the certificate common name of the computer certificate. Got profile as a workstation. And we have an external group here for domain computer, which was part of our authorization condition. And here, eptls authentication succeeded as well as authorization profile. So everything looks just like if you were to have this on the wired. And now, if you look at the admin one, also pass authentication, got the permit all, came in as eptls, the username admin one came from the common name of user certificate this time. And we also have an external group that shows the user is part of wireless user AD group. Now for employee one, which failed the authentication, so we can see authorization profile deny access, Username employee one. But here, if you look, you do not see anything for external groups. Although employee one is actually a member of a domain user, which is by default. But since the authorization fail as a whole, ICE doesn't really display the AD groups that the user might be uh, belong to. All right, if you scroll down, just to confirm authentication pass, so it was a, a valid certificate with valid user, but the user just happens to not be authorized to connect to the network by the AD group. Okay, the last thing we would like to try is to lock in from the iPhone, but since we haven't really installed any certificate on the iPhone, the only it cannot really do eptls, so our other option or only option right now is peep. So let's go ahead and try to connect via PEEP anyway with Wi-Fi to turn that on first. And then we're going to connect to LM internal. With username, we know that uh, admin1, we can connect with admin1. So we're going to use lab minutes admin1 and the password of Cisco. Just to show you with the mode here, currently it's set to automatic, but you can also force it to TLS if you if you wish, but that's only when you have the certificate installed already. For now, we're just going to go by username and password, which means that's peep. So we'll click join, and now we have incorrect username and password, which essentially fail the authentication fail. And here, just refresh on the monitor page, we have that fail attempt came from iPhone and it was rejected by authorization profile. So let's take a look at that. You can see the protocol that came in this time is PEEP. And since we're allowing, if you go back to the authentication policies, since we're allowing both PEEP and TLS, the iPhone actually got through the authentication process. Otherwise, if you just allow and do not allow PEEP, it will fail at the authentication process. But here, if you scroll all the way down, you can see PEEP authentication actually succeeded. And that's because the user is trying to lock in with the allow protocol PEEP with the valid AD account of admin one, but it got denied by the authorization profile because we had a policy condition. Again, go back to the condition authorization, compound condition, LMWLAN user, and we right here when we specified that it has to be eptls in order for the authorization to succeed. So, since we were coming in or the iPhone is coming as peep, it got deny access since that wasn't a match on the rules. Other than that, let's see peep MS chat v2 peep username admin one. And again, since uh, we are 
we failed the authentication or authorization rather, we did not see the external group output here. Okay, so now that we have actually covered both wire and wireless 802.1x for both PEEP and EEP TLS, we can actually move on to the next topic on Cisco Ice. Thank you for watching labnews.com as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.